Now let me confirm once again that this is a fake marriage for my own convenience. We will live together as husband and wife, but it is only fake, so please don't mind me. The girl who proposed a fake marriage to me is Kazuha Izumi. She is 20 years old, in her second year of college, and a year younger than me. She is the daughter of an old family, a neat and tidy beauty, but at the university, she is popular with both men and women for her friendly personality. And I, Takeru Yamano, the one who agreed to the fake marriage. I'm not proud of it, but I'm 21 years old, a junior in college, with a reputation for being an easy target. Right now, before the wedding ceremony, we were in the process of discussing our opinions. I said yes because her parents were going to force her into an arranged marriage and she asked me to help her. Why me? The only contact we have is in class. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. But I couldn't ignore her wish that she might be forced to marry someone. So I decided to accept her offer of a fake marriage. The wedding ceremony was solemnized at a famous shrine in the midst of many relatives. I'm so nervous, but she doesn't seem to care. I guess she really just wanted to get away from the arranged marriage and married me. I've come this far, but is she really okay with me? There is no problem. We just need to live without interfering with each other as we promised. I see. If that's okay with Kazuha, that's fine. Thus, we managed to end the wedding ceremony with a delicate sense of distance between us. We got married and started our life together. Hey Kazuha, I left all the housework to you, but are you sure you're okay with that? I'm going to do what I can too. Bride training is being trained at my parents' house. Please take your time, takeru -san. It's all very well but I also feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Kazuha is always ahead of me when I'm trying to do something and does it all quickly and efficiently. Oh, I will do that. No, it was originally a fake marriage for me. It's only natural for me to do this much. takeru -san, I took bath first. Please, it's your turn. Huh? Oh, yes, yes. I'll take it, regardless of the fact that we are a married couple. Is it safe for her to be so defenseless? Even though we are still newly wet. Kazuha, you should put on something. Hmm? No, it's hot, so leave it on for a while. Is there a problem? Oh, no. Nothing in particular. When I got out of the bath, Kazuha was on her way to her bedroom. I'm sleepy, so I'll go to bed first. Good night. Oh, good night. Even though we are a married couple, we have separate bedrooms. So we are just roommates in disguise. Our married life continued with a somewhat empty feeling. One day, while I was playing games in the living room until midnight, Kazuha came down from her bedroom. Huh? Kazuha, what's wrong? I'm a little hungry. I think I'll cook something. I'm going to buy a hamburger, so I'll get one for you too. Is she confused about something? Well, I'll just go buy some anyway. Kazuha picked up the hamburger I bought back. Is this... Are we going to throw away this paper? No, we eat it half wrapped up, so it won't spill when we bite into it. Is this perhaps your first time eating it? Yes, basically this kind of food was forbidden. It's rare nowadays, but maybe it is normal for a lady. Oh, well, that's good. And it's good that my hands don't get dirty. I didn't know such convenient food existed. I had been wasting my life. I can't believe she can be that impressed by a mere fast food. I would like to have it again, takeru -san. I'll buy it again. It's not good for your health, so I wouldn't eat it often. That's how I've learned about the gaps in our lives but our relationship remains as casual as ever. Oh, good morning, Kazuha. Good morning, Takeru-san. Are you ready to go to college already? I have
have a class in the morning today. Breakfast is on the table, so please eat. I'll be off then. I saw Kazuha off as she left dashingly. It's a crazy healthy breakfast compared to what I had when I was alone. And it's delicious, but I don't know. I think we should go to the university together. But I guess she doesn't really want to get along with me. By thinking so, I finished my breakfast and decided to head to the university. As I was waiting for the class to start in the classroom, my friend sat down next to me and began talking to me. Hey, hey, Yamano! I heard you got married to Kazuha! Mm hmm, yeah, well, that's with that attitude! Why such a boring reaction when you're living with someone who is the dream of the university? Well, it's not like I'm getting married. It's more like I'm getting a roommate. Well, you guys came in separately today, didn't you? Are you newlyweds crawling? Well, it's not that we don't get along. But Kazuha is very serious and gets up early in the morning. Oh, I see. It's true that she always takes her classes seriously and studies hard. I can't let it be known that it's a fake marriage. I managed to get away with it. After the lecture was over, I went into the convenience store on the way home. Hey, that's unusual. Kazuha is in the convenience store. What is she trying to buy? I went up to her. What should I do? It looks delicious, so I want to buy it. But it's high in salt and bad for my health. But I want to eat it. No, it's a waste of money. She doesn't have to be so serious just to buy a cup noodle. Hey, Kazaha, shopping? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to buy anything. I was just looking. That's fine. Go ahead and buy the noodle. Which one do you want? Ah, uh, there are two I want. I want some too. So let's buy all of them. Oh no, isn't that kind of extravagant? It's okay. It's just a cup noodles. They will last for a long time. So we can eat them anytime you want. You can eat them whenever you get hungry. About the cup noodles Kazuha wanted and a few other things I wanted to eat. And paid the bill at the cash register. We decided to go home together. Just for the sake of it. I'm sorry, you bought one for me too. It's okay. We are a married couple after all. My friend asked me why I didn't come with her today. I was in a hurry. I guess we need to pretend to get along with each other out of the house so we don't get caught faking it. Takeru-san, are you pretending to get along with each other? Yes, well, it would be hard for both of us if we forced ourselves to get along with each other. So, if we just pretend a little bit, there should be no problem. Yes, that's right. Well, it's a fake marriage, isn't it? Kazuha answered, but her voice was far from clear. After returning home, Kazuha looked rather downcast and did not seem to be eating much. What's wrong? Did something bad happen? No, nothing. I had a lot of classes today, so maybe I'm a little tired. I couldn't tell if she was really just tired. I don't think she looks fine. You really don't look well. Maybe you should get home rest early. Yes, I'm going to bed now. Kazuha said and headed for the bedroom. I wonder what happened to her. She looked fine when she was at the convenience store. I was concerned about her condition. But the next day, she looked normal as if nothing had happened to her. Good morning. Ah. Uh, Good morning, Kazuha. Are you feeling better now? Yes. Sorry about yesterday. No, it's okay. Was she really just feeling sick? Well, she seems fine today after all. Again, as usual, we were spending our days as if we were just roommates rather than a married couple. Then one day, I went to a drinking party with my friends. Ugh. Maybe I drank a little too much. It's already 2 o'clock. I wonder if Kazuha is sleeping. Ugh, I am so sleepy. I want to sleep now. Thinking so, I opened the bedroom door. Uh, what? Kazuha? 
why is she here? What is it? What's going on? Normally she would be sleeping in her own bedroom. What should I do? It's not good to sleep together. Let's wake her up for now. Hey, Kazuha. Kazuha-san. This is my bed. You have to sleep in your own place. As I gently shook Kazuha to wake her up, her eyes snapped open. Why are you so late? What? Sorry. I was out drinking with friends. I was all alone the whole time, you know. I couldn't believe you came home so late when I was so lonely. What is this? I feel like she's not the usual Kazuha. I'm sorry for leaving you alone. Anyway, let's go back to your bedroom and sleep, right? I don't want to. We're going to sleep together tonight. Saying that, Kazuha fell asleep like a loose thread while hugging me. Oh, come on. Seriously? What should I do? Can I really sleep with her? I mean, she must have been sleepwalking. But could that possibly have been her real intention? I thought so for a moment. But due to the alcohol, I couldn't overcome the sleepiness and ended up falling asleep with her too. In the morning, a sparrow cries. Hey, hey! What is this? Why are you here? I woke up from sleep by Kazuha's scream. Why? Because this is my room, and you told me to sleep here with you last night. Ah, yes! You are right! What a mess I've made! It seemed Kazuha remembered what she did last night. Why were you sleeping in my bed in the first place? Yesterday, I was all alone and waiting for you, and I felt so lonely. For the first time in my life, I had a drink in desperation. Then I got sleepy and unconsciously ended up in this room. The words I said yesterday, those were my true feelings. I miss takeru san at night, and the truth is, I wanted to sleep with you every night. Kazuha, that's... The truth is, I've always loved you, even before I asked you to have a fake marriage. But we didn't have any contact other than our classes, did we? You may not remember this, Takiru-san, but actually, you came to talk to me once. What? Really? I don't blame you for not remembering it, since it was just a little thing. I was, as you know, naive, and during my first year of college, I was struggling with the gap between life with my parents and here at the college. It was you who approached me before class in the college lecture hall when I was feeling bad. No, I'm fine. I just have a little trouble. You don't look well. You shouldn't push yourself. No, I'm fine. I just have a little trouble. Hmm, I see. You're a freshman. It can be hard with a sudden change in life, right? Yes, it's totally different from the life I had before. You can talk to me if you need anything. It seems like we're taking the same classes. I tried to think back, but I couldn't remember anything at all. I don't remember, but I'm sure Kazuha looked overwhelmed and reckless. Yes, since you even called out to me, a complete stranger. But ever since then, I've been in love with you. I asked her to marry me under false pretenses because I thought that if I was going to get married, it would be to you. If that was the case, you should have told me earlier. I can't say that I love you, especially after I asked you to fake it and marry me. Kazuha awkwardly turned her eyes away. I was thinking that I shouldn't force you to do anything, so I tried to cover up my feelings. I was trying to keep a lid on my feelings, but after living together, I just couldn't hold back anymore. I wanted to get to know you better and be like a real married couple, too. So, even though we became husband and wife first, let's become lovers from now on. We have a lot of time. Yes, that's true. That would be wonderful. We became a married couple in the true sense of the word by getting to know each other's feelings. Now I enjoy letting Kazuha experience all kinds of things. Can I eat this while standing up? Yeah, you can just bite into it. Mmm, 
It's so sweet and delicious. What should I do? Is it okay to eat so much? We started out in a rather strange way, as a fake marriage, but I hope that the two of us will have more fun experiences as a couple and make lots of memories together. My current problem is that I'm so happy to see happy Kazuha that I ended up taking her around with me. I want to take good care of her from now on.